。地球上占半数人口，会喺屋企里面用煤同埋木炭等燃料煮食。世界卫生组织估计，每年有二百万人因此吸入过多二氧化碳，或感染呼吸道疾病死亡。数字比因疟疾而死嘅更多。因为人数实在太惊人嘅缘故，喺上世纪八十年代，美国教授拉里维尼尔亚斯基特意到非洲考察，然后定出十个使用炉子嘅原则。除咗安全，仲要节省原料。若果要花相当多时间去收集柴枝，贫穷地区嘅妇女系难以承受嘅。最后佢设计出火箭炉，呢款炉子设计不但安全，并且火力超强。只要七根即用筷子就可煮出两杯咖啡同埋煎蛋早餐。德国有专家估计，使用火箭炉，每个家庭每年可节省約一吨柴木，亦减少燃烧，即系减少碳嘅排放。联合国大力推荐，欧美环保人士纷纷採用。现今喺台湾嘅火箭炉工作坊越开越多，香港亦都有农场引入火箭炉。而香港亦經已有火箭爐工作坊嘅 Facebook 群組，分享火箭爐使用嘅經驗。火箭爐係比炭爐容易燃燒嘅，幾根竹子塞入爐裏面，加一啲紫碎，只需要幾分鐘火勢就非常旺盛啦。而火箭爐嘅火焰亦都比燒烤爐集中得多，燃燒嘅效能好高，而且冇煙。火箭炉煮饭需要大约二十分钟，甚至比电饭煲仲快。火箭炉嘅原理好简单，用料可以系泥，可以系砖，或者好似用废铁罐。重要嘅系要形成一个 L 型嘅弯管，就以用废铁罐作材料为例，用一个大铁罐套一个细一圈嘅铁罐，再塞入一个罐头铁罐作为木材同埋先锋入口，再喺大铁罐。同埋中間嘅小鐵罐之間放入水泥或者沙粒嚟隔熱，防止爐內嘅熱力流失，就製造完成啦。火箭爐嘅基本原理就如下圖，係利用氧氣燃燒後，內爐產生真空，然後由進氣孔吸進空氣。進氣孔就係火箭爐旁邊嘅孔嘅下半部分，而上半部分係放入木材燃料嘅地方，再加上內爐內燃料燃燒後。產生嘅熱空氣膨脹上升力度，使燃料燃燒快速，且火焰向上直轉，有如噴射引擎美焰一樣。This is a step-by-step -step video on how to make a rocket stove out of a one number ten can and four little soup cans. So we're going to start with the unit already completely built together.、Uh, this Pulls out. This is、uh, made out of、uh, one of the soup cans, and it's measured just to fit right inside of here. And these little flanges to stop it from going all the way in. This is the fuel rest, and underneath、um, the、uh, fuel,、uh, the air go goes inside. So that's one can that you'll need. I'm going to tip this up here so you can see inside of here.、Um, you can see this other can from the outside goes in. And、uh, goes into a, a, a third soup can that has a hole cut in the side. And then you may be able to see this. This right here is,、uh, is another、uh, the fourth soup can. It's cut short, and then it's split all the way up the side, so it fits inside.、Um, makes it like a chimney for, for the、uh, the center there. So that's how that looks inside. Then we have the number 10 can with the bottom secured. We've cut the top off、uh, around the edge, and then we've cut a hole for the、uh, soup can to fit in the center. So those are all the components of the、uh, stove. And then underneath here we have、uh, our insulation. In this case, we use sand just because it was available, and you can see. Um, I've taken this part out. This is the short can that goes on top, and without that, the, the sand would fall inside, and this isn't high enough. So this allows us to kind of extend the the chimney inside, and then this goes on top, 
and, you, and then you fill this in with ver vermiculite. Now this is ver vermiculite here. I just happened to use sand because um, I didn't know we had any, but this, my wife had this in the uh, garden shed. This is a very lightweight, very kind of foamy, and has a lot of air in it, so it should actually work better as an insulator than sand, but uh, a ver vermiculite or ash or something that uh, help retain the heat is uh, inside is what you're looking for. Well, I'm actually going to do a comparison later in another video comparing the uh, the thermal capabilities of sand versus vermiculite. But right now we're just going to dump all the sand and everything out and show you the individual components. Okay, so we've dumped the sand out from inside and this is what it looks like inside the can without any uh, insulation in there. There's, uh, so here's the part of can number one which we used for the fuel rest. Can number, soup can number two, soup can number three, this is soup can number four that's got split all the way down and fits inside here. And then this is the lid that goes over the top. Okay, so here are all the components. 